up in the sky. Look, it's captivating. It's energizing. It's Alliance's Heroes. Alliance's is the destination for entrepreneurs, investors, CEOs, inventors, leaders, celebrities, and startups. Where our heroes in business align. Now, here's your host flying in, David Kogan, founder of Alliance's. Thank you, Money Radio. That's right, David Kogan with Alliances, and today's show is all about heroes. Remember, these are ones that are building businesses. They're leaving their mark in their community, and the today's lineup. You've got to hear this. All right, we have the star from the reality TV show Hardcore Pawn, Seth Gold. We also have the executive producer of the Jobs movie about Apple founder Steve Jobs. Later on, we're going to have the comedian who has performed on all late night shows and even for President Obama. And we'll be ending the show with the famous TV doctor on VH1's Family Therapy. But with that, we're going to get started. That's right. We're going to get started with Seth Gold. He is the star from reality TV show Hardcore Pawn. Now, you're the star of this reality show, which when the first episode aired... It broke new records for viewership. Millions. The show is all about what happens in the pawn business. Share with us, how did it feel when you saw the first episode air on TV? You know, David, I appreciate uh, you uh, speaking with me this afternoon, and thank you for having me on the show. And let's talk about that first day. It was back in 2009, and I would never imagine the amount of success we'd derive from that one single episode. Imagine you go into work, and you just have cameras follow you around, and all of a sudden, two-plus million people see what you do on a daily basis. Nothing can really prepare yourself for that kind of event, and ultimately, Six years later, or seven years later, we're still uh, trucking along pretty successfully. So um, doing what we do and doing what we love to do is, is something that we're proud of and ultimately really happy with the success, obviously. It's incredible. And you could reach Seth Gold by going to SethGold.com. That's S-E-T-H-G-O-L-D. Dot com. Now, we've also had the privilege of having your father on the air, who is also part of the show and one of the stars, who you work with in the family business. And we have many listeners who may have or considering bringing family into their business. How has the relationship changed now that you both work together? You're both famous. Everybody knows you. Not to mention that most everything you do at work is captured on TV for the world to see. How has that developed? How has that evolved your relationship with your father? Well, I appreciate you saving the best for last, obviously. So I'll start off by saying that. Um, but imagine working with your family. It's not easy. It's not for everybody. I can just tell you that right up front. Because I, I say this a lot. Nobody has your back like family, but nobody knows how to get under your skin like family. So part of deciding to come in the family business me and my dad discussed it at length, and we work with my sister as well, was we are family, and that's above anything. So no matter how stressful of a day we have, no matter how many employees get on our skins, and no matter how many customers kind of rattle our cages, at the end of the day, we're still family. So we give each other a kiss in the morning, hello, and as we leave, goodbye. That's not to say we don't have our fair share of arguments throughout the day, but one thing always prevails. We always have each other's back. Yeah, and that's huge, and that definitely does come out in the show. And how nice it must be to be able to work with your family, be part, you know, be close to your family. And and I know you're the fourth generation, right, in the pawn business. That means that this business is in your blood, right? I mean, it's in your blood. You've even been named pawnbroker of the year. I've heard that you are going to perhaps be expanding the business, American Jewelry and Loan in Detroit. Share with us what that means exactly. Yeah, absolutely. So growing up, I got caught up in the negative perceptions of being a pawnbroker, and you know it, and I know it, and it was not seen as a highlighted industry. And I always had the ambition to be a doctor, and it wasn't until my senior year at University of Michigan that I decided that that wasn't for me. So I made a phone call to my mom, and I said, Mom, I think I want to get into the business, and her response back to me was, what business? Because I was never going to join the family operation. And lo and behold, I worked here. I, well, I graduated at the University of Michigan. I worked here for a couple of years, kind of staying quiet, learning the business, and kind of grew into it 
um, there's an inherent respect that you get as the boss's son, but that wears thin if you don't know what you're doing. So imagine coming in right out of college, full of piss and vinegar, and you know trying to take over the the industry or the world, the the store, with managers that have been here for 25 years. And so unless I could prove to them that I was worthy of being having a seat at the table, it was going to be a long road. So I stayed quiet for a couple of years. And then my sister was working with us. She decided to leave to have start up a family. And then I kind of grew into it. And lo and behold, almost 10 years have gone by. And, yeah, a few years ago, back in 2013, I was named Palm Broker of the Year through the National Palm Broker Association. And the visibility has been great, um, and now it's time to expand the brand and kind of push that out a little bit further and open up more shops. And I think people don't realize is that working for your family, you actually have to work harder than everybody else and continue and always proving yourself. And you're listening to Alliance's Heroes on Money Radio AM 1510 and FM 99.3. Are you a hero in business? Go to Alliance's.com. That's E L I. A N C E S dot com, and we have Seth Gold, the star from the reality TV show Hardcore Pawn, and you can reach him at SethGold dot com. Now you must be getting a ton of fan mail. I gotta ask you, what's one of the, maybe the most interesting pieces of fan mail that you received? You know, it's crazy. People uh, send us a whole bunch of items every day. So imagine walking down the street and everyone wants uh, an appraisal for their ring or their uh, watch or things like that. So people will send us, like, commemorative pins and say, hey, just send me money back, however much you think it's worth. <laughs> so there's really no telling what's going to end up in the mail. It's always a interesting, uh, you know, time at American Jewelry when we receive mail, just because people will send the craziest things. People will send us money from other countries and say, how much is it worth? Um, just It never ends. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Now, I know you also do speaking and television media appearances. You've been on Motor Trend, Mag- in Motor Trend Magazine, uh, the Arsenio Hall Show, The View, the Today Show. It just goes on and on. What perhaps advice, because this is all about you know entrepreneurs and that, maybe the best advice that you have to prepare, to prepare for these speaking engagements? Speak about what you know. Don't try to kind of con your way through it, because that is going to be obvious to everybody in front of you. You know, I'm a professional pawnbroker. I know what I'm talking about as far as street value goes and how much things can actually sell for. So I'm not going to go out there and talk. I can talk about the economy in simple terms as far as what I see on a daily basis. I can tell you that pawn shops are the barometer of the economy. But I'm not going out there and talking about statistics because I can tell you that we're writing more loans. So I can speak to what I know for fact. Well, and the other thing, too, and, and, and that's incredible advice, too, definitely something that's needed. And you also, you know, talked about a lot of people sending you items, people bringing in items. What's your personal favorite item that came in the store? And more importantly, when people are in the industry you're in, how do they not fall in love with something and want to keep it and actually not sell it? We have payroll. To, to maintain and employees to take care of. So there isn't a piece that I fall in love with. Um, there's some cool pieces that have passed through the office. So in particular, we've had some championship rings. And as I mentioned earlier, I went to University of Michigan. So I've had a couple Rose Bowl rings pass through the shop, uh, 2003 and 2004 Rose Bowl rings. I mean, those are in my collection, but if the customer comes in and for the right price, they'll definitely be for sale. We've got a little less than a minute left, Seth, and truly you're incredible, and, and I can't tell you how much my family and I enjoys enjoy watching your show, less alone everyone else. And you talked about the pawn industry changing and perhaps the beginning of the negative perception and now how things have really evolved. What type of legacy or words would you want to leave in your industry? What, 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 do you, what would you want to say? You know, that's a great question, and ultimately I couldn't be more proud of what we do and what we've done for the pawn industry. Um, before people used to hang their head when they heard about the pawn shop and i was one of those people that just kind of said my dad works in a loaning business to my friends just because i was kind of embarrassed but now it's cool to go to the pawn shop and save money and i'm happy and really proud to be on the changing image of that and my legacy would uh, would be not really the tv show the tv show is a great platform right. for me to go out there and right. you know express what i want to express but 
the le real legacy is getting to know who we are and ultimately the service that we provide for the community and the industry. Excellent. Well, anyone that could work with so many people from such a diverse background, backgrounds, helping them buy and get good deals or sell an item to make ends meet is certainly one of today's heroes, and Seth Gold is just that. When we return, we're going to have the executive producer of the Jobs movie about Apple founder Steve Jobs, Eliances. <laughs> 